Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a, a pretty small little trailer, very portable. This is a Flagstaff E-Pro E15TB, kind of a mouthful. But uh, if you need something lightweight, very portable. Comparable to the Tab. Yep, like a, I would say probably a Tab, maybe a Tab 320 with a much more headroom. So this is well under 3,000 pounds, but let's take a look. So. I like their cute little designs. They're kind of a little box on wheels, but uh, look how much ground clearance you have here. And they do offer a lot in this package. So for example, we have a uh, GoPower Solar. You just pop in your little uh, portable solar panel, or of course you can just install permanently on the roof. We'll give you uh, stabilizing jacks. I believe you're gonna have two propane tanks in here, two smaller propane tanks, as well as a, a big old tongue battery here. Let's see, as we come around, you have an outdoor shower in this, 30 amp hookup, cable satellite, city water connection, and you guys know how I like these. The uh, gravity fill, which is nice. You got a little hot water uh, heater there, a little bit of storage on the outside. I like that they use the frameless windows here because something you're gonna notice is that the way that these are designed, they push all the way out they don't uh they don't just have a little bit of like a crank there so that's kind of nice and then another frameless window uh, see some of that storage and you actually have a surprising amount of storage in here i gotta say not that you can see it in the dark but surprising amount of storage they do a decent job at using the aluminum framing in here keeps things lighter weight and oh look at that <laughs> magnets to keep the door up i like that but aluminum framing to keep everything light and durable which is nice come on twisty door there we go and then you have some beefy, uh, beefy wheels. Doesn't really matter if you're going off road, but uh, you know, just something to know. And if you're uh, hooked up, you actually have outdoor GFCI outlets here. So they also build with Asdell, and and these are solid, solid rigs. And outdoor speakers. I have a freaking awning <laughs> and a built-in Max Air vent cover. But they also, I mean, all the features in this thing. You have a uh, numbered lock system, uh, push button to get in, which is really nice because. Keyless entry. When you lock your keys in, uh, you're not locked out. And uh, they thought of almost everything here, I gotta say. Obviously you have your screen door, which I like the ones that are kind of accordion like that, but uh, they even gave you a cover so that you can block out the light. They didn't skip there. I really like that. Again, this is a lot in a little package. Um, they have some other other deals, so 5 eighths tongue and groove plywood floor, Asdo construction, fully laminated walkable roof, which is, that's pretty decent, I'd say. Fiberglass front cap, frameless windows, uh, backup camera prep, so it doesn't have a built-in apparently. 200 watts of solar built-in with a 1,000 watt inverter. We have seen a, uh, a recent video with an Integra Odyssey SE, a uh, small little Class C, and it's, yeah, it's budget-minded, but not even that had an inverter on it, so. Something to know. Uh, that additional solar prep, so I'd probably expand what's on the roof and add in a little ground panel if you want. Uh, yep, double 20 pound LP tanks, but that's not everything. So if we come in here, obviously you have a little microwave with a convection oven option, all that good stuff, a three burner cooktop, that, that is huge. Uh, <laughs> you have some shelving up here, kind of a nice little sink. I like that it's square, it's not round, it doesn't screw you. They have some outlets up there. Let's take a look, we've got some storage in here. I love all the black hardware. The black hardware is kind of nice and they were pretty consistent throughout. And you would wonder what you're gonna do with the steam because there's no range hood to pull out that steam. Uh, but they give you that max air vent right here, right in the perfect spot, I'd say. Over here, we have a wet bath, which again, some people don't like, but uh, I think they did it all right. They did it all right. I would just make sure everything's caulked in here. And they have a shower miser. That is my favorite feature in this rig, guys, I swear. Now, if you're not familiar with what a shower miser is, essentially, Instead of wasting water waiting for it to heat up, this is gonna go ahead and recirculate it. It changes colors once it's warm, and I wish we had this. Uh, and once it's warm, you can go ahead and release it, and it pours onto you. No cold showers, I'll tell you that. So I think the front's pretty well equipped, very similar to the tab in this, this way. They even give you a bottle opener for all your party on the patio pledger. <laughs> That's right. Well, there's no front window. However, look at all the headroom though. That has a lot of headroom. They actually give you a really decent Magic Chef fridge. Um, very decent fridge and freezer. So for the size of rig, that's a lot, right? For a single person, this is, I mean, that's, oh, that's boondockable, I'd say. Uh, huge drawers here, very big drawers. And uh, I'm sure that they're using staples 
but they're, they're pretty decent for, it, for what it is. This one is technically a twin bed configuration, though I'm sure that you can drop this down, make it one big bed, or probably what I would do is throw some plywood back there, have that as my bed, and then just some sitting space, maybe some, you know, dresser or something like that. But honestly, you don't really need to do much. As you can see how much storage you have. And uh, if we look at this window here, this is really, really nice. Uh, that is a lot of a lot of ventilation. I really like that. Um, but, and then a big old TV for the size of rig here. If you're looking to live simply, this is it's a pretty good option. I don't know what they have this one specifically on sale for, but can't be that much. Um, you said these are right around the twenty-nine to $34,000 range. One thing that's interesting is that Forest River bought these guys, but their quality has not decreased greatly from what owners have said. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. And they didn't stop with the features. They do have the tire pressure monitoring system built in. They're really packing everything that you would need in here, but they also give you a Wi-Fi ranger, which allows you to extend um, and repeat in Wi-Fi signals from... You know, say you're near a Starbucks, right? You can get that signal, bring it in, and you, know, you have good free internet anywhere. I think a lot of us are, are getting hotspots now, or some folks are doing Starlink, but uh, if you're balling on a budget, there you go. Really cool, all built in. Like, that's that's pretty amazing, so. Ah. Anywho, we're gonna head out to the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.